we'll talk math. Okay, so I'm going to show you how we would do a reverse calculation. So what happens is we get to the end of our sum and we want to check it's correct. So we do the opposite in order to check that we get to our original start of the sum. So we're going backwards to check that everything works out the same as it should do. So let me just show you how that might work. So the opposite of add is take away and the opposite of times is divide. So if we're in our exam and we have a sum which we add, I'm going to use easy numbers here so we just can focus on the concept. So if we had 3 add 2 equals 5, our reverse calculation will be the opposite of add, it will be the takeaway. And instead of ending with 5, we're going to start with 5. So 5, take away, now this one just stays the same, take away 2 equals, and we can see that that's 3. So the calculation has worked both ways, so we know it's correct. Let's have another look at one. Maybe we would do a multiplication. So if we had 3 times 2 equals 6, okay, we've used times. So the opposite of that is divide. Okay, instead of ending with 6, we're going to start with 6. 2 stays where it is, and we should, 6 divided by 2, end up with our original number. Okay, so that is the way that we do our reverse calculations. Whatever sum you've got, whether it's add, take away, times or divide, so whichever of those four operations, you will be able to use the opposite one to check that you can get back to your original amount. Okay, another way of checking your calculations is to do an estimate. So it may be that we want to um, just check a rough idea. Perhaps we're not good at decimal places or something. So let's just say we have the number 3.96 add 4.21. And we're going to add those together. And we're not just sure about our, where we'll put the decimal afterwards. OK, so what we'll do is we'll round the 3 up to 4. OK, this is above 5, so that will go to 4. And we'll add it to 4 because this is less than 5, so we'll round it down to 4. So we know that our answer should equal roughly 8, OK? And if we were to get 80, then we know we've done it wrong. If we're going to get 0.8, we know that we've done it wrong. This is more useful, I guess, if we're doing times or divide because with that one, there is more um, chance of error for where to put the decimal spot, OK? Decimal place, I should say.